I found a great hack in Resolve. I'm not an animator and we do have dedicated team members who are very good at doing that at Still Moving, but occasionally we'll get a project where I will be working on something and I'll just need a little bit of movement on some text or an arrow or something really simple and it isn't worth me exporting a project, sending it over to one of the animators, getting them to do it. So instead what I'll do is cheat. Now previously I've been trying to do this with keyframes but I found that very frustrating because changing the rate of movement, changing the feathering and the way that things move, the, the perceived gravity, if you like, of a movement within the animation was something that's kind of beyond my skill set. I know what it needs to look like, but making it look like that was a laborious task. What we do is we use the camera shake effect because I've got all of these different controls on sliders. We don't want it to be shaking around everywhere, but we can just dial down the ones we don't want and then have it moving in the direction that we do want. And within that, there are all kinds of things that you can actually control. So you can control the rate that it's doing this, how fast it's moving, the amplitude, how far it's moving, and of course, the randomness of the movement. So if you want it really regular, that's fine, you can do that. If you want it to be slightly irregular, like it's a more organic movement, then you can do that as well. Now the benefit, obviously, of doing this within the camera shake pane is that you're not having to change lots of different keyframes to get these effects. And you can really quickly and easily dial it up a bit, dial it down a bit, get it to where you need it to be. And if you need to come back later and make an adjustment to something, if a client says, oh, we'd like that bounce to be a little bit slower, you're not going in and doing keyframes, you just drag that slider down a bit and it's done, two seconds. So this, for me, is a really cool little hack and I'm sure that you'll find lots of different uses for it where you need to add a little bit of movement to something, but you don't want to get into a lot of keyframes. So using the camera shake tool is actually a really viable way of doing that.